We're at the Cobb Energy Performing Arts Center in the Williams Theater loading La Traviata in. It's a co-production between Washington National Opera, Glimmerglass Festival, the Atlanta Opera, Indiana University, and Seattle Opera. This is probably one of the more difficult things that we're going to do this season and maybe in the next couple. It's big. We've overhired the crew. Uh, typically, we see on the carpentry crew maybe 10 to 15 people. This show we went to 21. We have chain motors that are, are a hoist that you see on construction site. We have 18 motors in the air. Our goal is to be done Sunday at 5 p.m. So I think usually about two days for us to get all of the lighting and all of the scenery in is about right. So this is another full day of work. You're seeing part of the periactoi, which is a Greek term it was early scenery that really became popular during the Renaissance. It's a triangle. They're, they're, it's an equilateral triangle. So each side has a different face on it. So you see, as we go through the opera, you'll see different sides of these periactoi. It's an old, old theatrical trick, but for this production, it's pretty fantastic. But there are 19 of them. And so they have to build them, place them, build the next one, place it, build the next one, because they rotate in such a way that any variation, they're really going to bang into one another. So we had small ones in the rehearsal room that were about five feet tall, but they were the exact dimensions so the chorus and the supers could get used to turning them. So far, there haven't been any real problems. Uh, we had a truck that was late, but these things happen, so. We do things kind of the same on every single show. You know, we know at eight o'clock on the first day of load-in, we're gonna come in, we're gonna strip the pipes over, the, over stage, and we're gonna hang electrics. At 1 p.m., the electricians are gonna walk away, go to lunch, and we're gonna start hanging scenery. The rehearsal process is the same. You know, we know the first day we're gonna do a meet and greet, and then we're gonna do a music rehearsal, and then we're gonna do a musical rehearsal with chorus, and the next day we're gonna start staging the opera. So it's, it's all very rote. I don't know if that means we could do things better, do things differently, but the process works. And, and I think our challenge is in this space, because we come in on Friday and we open the following Saturday, how best to maximize that time so we don't waste artists' time, you know, the, the worst thing is to have you know, a conductor in the pit and a bunch of singers and choristers standing around and you know, they're waiting on you to you know, hinge a door or something. Uh, and those things happen sometimes. You, they're unavoidable, but our planning, that's what we do. We make sure those things don't happen.